Two terrorists were killed today in separate encounters with security forces in Rajori and Baramula districts of Jammu and Kashmir. Yesterday, five soldiers who were part of the army's assault team of elite special forces to flush out terrorists in Rajori were killed in an IED blast during the operation. An officer of the special forces was critically injured as well in the process. A massive reinforcement of troops was rushed to the region as part of Operation Trinetra to flush out terrorists who are believed to be entrenched in caves in the forest areas of Rajori. Now, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, he is expected to review the situation on the ground in Rajori. We're told he's reached Jammu, but the Northern Army Commander, Lieutenant General Upendra Devedi, the Jammu and Kashmir Police DGP and other top officers are already supervising this anti-terrorist operation that is currently underway. My colleague Nazir Masoodi is tracking all the latest developments. Nazir, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh is expected to review the situation shortly on the ground in Rajori. Yeah, he has he reached Jammu and then he ha, is reaching now to Rajori in a while from now. Uh, perhaps this will be the, for the first time the Defence Minister of the country going to an encounter site that explains the magnitude of the problem. Because it's not just the encounter which happened yesterday in which five soldiers of the police battle forces by killed. And as officer was, he has been, is critically injured. But this operation is going on for the last 15 days earlier, five soldiers were killed on 20th April. And there have been multiple incidents over the last 18 months in the same region, where 26 army soldiers have been killed, nine civilians have been killed. Many other people have been injured. There have been also multiple incidents without any significant success against militants who appear to be well entrenched in dense forests where we, they have natural caves as shelter. Uh, so, in this situation, even as multiple operations have been launched at different times, it, it has not made any big difference when it comes to militancy in an area which was actually free from militancy. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, in, in January, when there was an attack on Hindu families because of their identity in Dangri village in, 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 in Rajori, where seven innocent people were killed and over a dozen were injured, Home Minister Amit Shah visited Jammu River security situation and asked security force, in fact, gave them a you know timeline, deadline of three months that Jammu region should be free from militants. There have to be zero militants. There has to be zero militants in the region. Exactly. Three months later, we see such an incident happening where there is an attack on the army in which five soldiers were killed at a place called the Bata Durya on April 20, and their track was set on fire with an IED explosion, and militants even decamped with the rifles of fallen soldiers. Now, as the operation which followed after that attack to track down the attackers, and the security force received a, you know, specific information about the, you know, presence of militants in a cave in the in, in a case three till yesterday, they came under an attack with an IED in which five uh, soldiers of special forces were killed. So, since then, a massive benefit is on in this area. A large reinforcement has been rushed here. All the security agencies are involved in this operation. Top military, police and security force officials are supervising the operation. Now, the home, uh, defense minister drives out things along with uh, army chief himself visiting the area. And that explains the kind of challenge. This is the area where actually being targeted by militants backed by Pakistan right. to hit where it hurts the most. Not just it is a very important strategic area, but also it has a communal fault lines as well. That's why we saw in January there was an attack on the Hindu families in the area to you know cause communal strife. But fortunately, yes. all the communities have come together to fight this thing. Uh, but what has somehow uh, not gone well in this area after the recent attack on army. There was a massive crackdown on civilians who police have been saying that the suspects at least six have been arrested right. for supporting militants who were behind the attack on army. And over 200 by you know, questioned and they were interrogated. One of the villagers later committed suicide, blaming that he was in, he was being tortured, even as he appealed everybody to support army, support India, support students, and fight terrorism. An army as part of a damage control because they know they have to keep the local population on their side. They said this is the population in the area which has always sided with army, whether it was 1948, whether it was 65, 71 or 99 war. Right. So this population, they never want to antagonize. 
so in a sense this is a two challenge to two prong challenge for the security force one to fight pakistan backed militants who are come from pakistan and they appear to be well entrenched in the rajouri and pooch forest on the other side they have to keep the local population on their side not to antagonize them at any cost so it is a challenge you know that is 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 a huge thing for the security force to deal with right. now when defense minister himself is visiting the area in fact nazir the, the defense minister importance. rajnath singh i beg your pardon nazir the defense minister rajnath singh has actually reached rajouri a short while ago he has reached jammu but now he has reached rajouri to take stock of the situation as we were reporting earlier as nazir reported the operation is going on since the last 15 days but multiple incidents from the same region have been reported in the last 18 months and now defense minister rajnath singh has reached a jury to take stock of the situation there